I haven't got that much time. I'm babysitting my little sister and she's in the bath right now. So I've got quite a quick video, I think. Um, I'm going to do the sketchbook tour. So this is my sketchbook. My mum made it, so it's got it's got her name on it. But um, yeah, let's. This is. I've only recently like this is not full. So a very recent sketchbook. I've I've done paintings before, but not in an actual sketchbook. So this is like my only sketchbook. But this is the first one now it's not my best art but i gave it a try it looks good i think it's just because i didn't have a thin enough uh paintbrush so it kind of got a bit messy at the top but that's the first one i remember looking it was like a a picture on google and i because it was a etsy thing i think um but i didn't want to pay money and i was looking for paint ideas so i painted it the second one still going by the tree theme we've got a rainbow tree which i actually made a notebook inspired by that um at a group we went to we making notebooks and i made this so it's the same kind of style um and then oh this is probably maybe one of my favorites Maybe not. It's not. It's not very detailed, but it's it's cute. A little ice cream, and these bits are actually three D. Um, they were from like a window art set. So yeah, the flake isn't the right color. I could criticize it, but I like the cone. I think the cone is good. <laughs> um, the next one. This is not a painting. This is a drawing of a bouquet of flowers. I think it's nice like I didn't think I could draw and then I did this and I was like oh maybe I can draw oh this is an abstract one how colorful is that it blends in my with my wall look um <laughs> so abstract one this is another abstract one this is probably my least favorite I want to do it again but going rainbow like ombre down instead of just random mix of colors because it doesn't look very good but I like the I like the idea of it. The style of it's good. And then a watermelon. I was like that that I need to do that, and it's quite simple as well. So I would recommend this if you if you don't feel like you're ready for like a detailed one. This is actually really good because you just need pink, green, and blue, and some black. Because I oh I did use paint. Sometimes I will use sharpie for things like this, but. This one I made a little bit 3D as well. It's a panda! So I've got some love hearts in the window art and then I've got some glitter which is getting all over my bed already. But it's cute. I like the ears. I think the ears are nice. And the nose, the little love heart nose. This was also, I get most of my ideas from Google. Some of them I will have like on my own, but lots of them I will just get from Google. <laughs> I didn't wash my hair this morning, that's why it's looking a mess. This one, okay, this is a little bit of backstory. So, um, everyone was doing drips at school, like everyone. Um, any artwork, any drawing you had to do, everyone did drips. So, I was like, okay, when I draw drips, they look horrendous. So, I squirted some paint on the top of my, of my sketchbook, and this is how it turned out. I was like, oh wow, the blue was very runny, as you can see. But how cool does it look? I was like, I could do another one and I could make it like start here and put like a cloud on top and make it look like it's raining, but I haven't got around to that yet. <laughs> um, this one, probably not my best artwork, but the tape like ripped. So I, I did another tape one and it's just uh, my little sister's name, Ebony, on it. But it kind of went a little bit diagonal. Not really sure what happened there, but you can see the tape's ripped and it's not the nicest colours. So. It was a nice one, nice idea, but I'd probably want to redo that. 
Oh, I like this one. This is quite a simple one as well. You just have to be able to draw the petals, but it's a sunflower. I'd probably want to do some more details here as well, but that's it. This is pretty cute as well. See, I look back and I criticise myself. I can't help it. <laughs> but, yeah. This one's, yeah, this is quite simple as well, but... You know, everyone was into avocados, so I painted a really simple one because I wasn't that good at painting so it's just got some brown on the edge brown in the middle and then some green funny story of this one so I use my my mum likes avocados I don't like avocados that up so we had an avocado in half but the stone had already been put in the bin so I put a conqueror in it and I left the conqueror in there and put it back in the fridge yeah that was a bit funny and this is a fingerprint one it's a pineapple with fingerprints I was like yes i need to do that um some yellow some orange and the, this you can't really tell but it's also fingerprints it looks like i've just gone like that but i haven't <laughs> oh this is like i was doing some uh religious um and i was like oh, i could paint loads of like different bits so i did uh the story of the creation so this is the um the sun and the moon and light and no this wasn't light and dark this is the sun and the moon and the stars um and then i got a little flap at the top and it was day four and then same on this side this is the light and the dark and this is day one so like i've got i've done all of them apart from day six where he created humans and animals because i'm really bad at drawing things like that um and painting things like that so I've got the trees and the plants, and that is day three. And then the birds, that looks like a fish, but it is meant to be a bird. And fish was day, can't pick the flap up, day five. And then I haven't got done a, um, a flap for this, but I think this is day two of the sky and the seas and then i've done a couple did i do any more i think the rest i was just this page is the last one and this is just trying to do work out how to use my watercolors if anyone has any good tips on how to use watercolors please let me know because yeah i'm not that good at them i've kind of got the hang of it but this is the only one i've done with them i got some for chris no, it was for my birthday. I got some watercolours and I haven't figured out how to use them. So if you've got any tips, please, please, please let me know. And yeah, that is my sketchbook tour. Sorry, it's been quite a quick video. I feel like I've talked quite quickly, but I am on like a countdown because as I say, I'm babysitting and you know, I need to be, I need to be alert. So I think that'll be the end of the video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for my next video. Bye.